You're listening to the Danish Tubecast, the number one podcast for those learning Danish. If you like what you hear, please leave me a review within the Apple Podcast app on Google or wherever else you might be listening. It will help other people find this podcast and let them know that you enjoy it and find it useful. Also, if you would like to be a guest on the podcast, if you are learning Danish and would like to come along, chat, learn a bit of Danish on the fly, you can do exactly that. Or maybe you speak fluent Danish already and just want to have an interesting conversation. If that sounds like something for you, you can write to me at danishtuberocks at gmail.com or find me on Instagram at danish underscore tube. Let's get into today's episode. Hej og velkommen til episode nummer 42. Mit navn er Liam. Jeg vil lige sige god påske til alle jer derude. Jeg håber, at I nyder fritiden, chokoladen og øllen, om I så får en af disse ting i dag, fordi jeg tror, det er søndag, når I lytter. Jeg har snakket lidt meget om påske i denne uge, så det gider jeg sgu ikke i dag. <laughs> nej, nej. I dag skal det handle om noget helt andet, og det bliver meget, meget spændende. For det første får jeg hjælp endnu en gang af Brooke. Hun er ekspert i alt, hvad der hedder dansk læring, og bliver noget af en rollemodel for jer, der lærer sproget. Hej Brooke. Hej Liam. Du er tilbage, lidt som kovært. Hvordan føles det? <laughs> Jamen, jeg er lidt nervøs, men uh, er du tak nervøs? fordi er du, du har mig med igen. Um, Ja, yeah, det er en uh, forskellig rolle for mig. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Det er nyt. Selv tak, det er en fornøjelse. Just to back it up a little bit. So, it is uh, Easter. So I'm saying happy Easter to everybody. I hope you're enjoying your free time. If you're having free time and chocolate and beer, whatever it might be. Uh, I've been talking a lot about Easter this week with all my students, so I don't really uh, can't really be bothered to talk anymore about it. So today is going to be something fun, something different. And Brooke is back. She is now, and I'm calling her an expert in Danish learning because she is becoming the role model for everybody learning Danish. So to Luca, Brooke, du gør det godt. Og så vil jeg også, som normalt, starte med et shout out. Så jeg giver lige et shout out til Claire, hvem skrev til mig at hun rigtig godt kunne lide både episode nummer 13 og episode nummer 14 på podcasten. Uh, episode nummer 13, det hedder Forældreskab eller Venskab, hvilket var en episode med dig, Brooke, faktisk. Ah. Og episode 14, det var en snak om meditation og mindfulness. De var meget gode, så hvis I ikke har hørt dem endnu, skal I endelig gå tilbage og tjekke dem ud. So Claire, she wrote to me and told me she really enjoyed episode 13 and 14. It was about being parents, uh, parenthood or friendship was the uh, the title. And Brooke was also in this episode. And then we had one called a chat about meditation and mindfulness. They were really good. So go back and check them out if you didn't hear them already. So, vi skal lave noget nyt. Noget som jeg kalder for, hvad kan du se i sine billeder? Uhuhu, spændende. Så jeg har taget et billede med, som jeg lige skal sende til dig. I have a picture with me that I'm going to send to you now. I'll just send it in Skype. Jeg sender det okay. in Skype. Okay, uh, så spændende kan det være. <laughs> ja, det er altid spændende. Giv mig lige to sekunder. Teknologi er ikke min ven. Okay, Brooke, jeg har sendt et billede til dig. På Skype. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hvorfor griner du så meget? <laughs> det, var, det var en meget fræk lille... Et meget fræks lille grin. <laughs> Nå, Brooke, jeg spørger bare. Hvad kan du se i scene af billedet? En scene af is like, you know, a movie scene. A, a picture from a movie scene. Hvad kan du se? Fortæl vores lyttere. Okay, jeg ser tre kvinder og tre mænd. Uh, i deres uh, badetøj og det løber det løber langs uh, stranden Sådan. Um, det er måske en scene fra Baywatch eller Directed. sådan uh, no. um, og det øver jeg synes det øver deres um, det øver, det øver at 
at redde, redde nogen. Måske. Ja. De, de virker meget glade i hvert fald. Dwayne The Rock Johnson i hvert fald, han smiler ret meget. So we have yeah, the, ma- it's, uh, it's like mega blurry. <laughs> blurry. Ah, yeah, yeah? Like see. <laughs> yeah. Hvorfor det? <laughs> I don't know. Technology. No. Jeg kan yeah, se uh, scenen. Jeg kan ikke se uh, deres ansigt. Deres ansigt. No. Lige meget. Fordi du har beskrevet det. Jeg kan bare se deres muskler. <laughs> okay, det, det er det vigtigste. Så længe du kan se deres muskler, så er det godt. So you can see three men, three women, they are in their bathing clothes or swimsuits, you might say. And you said it's, uh, yeah, they are livredder. Livredder, lifesavers. Or you might say, what is what is the actual coast guards, I guess. Um, yeah, Life- they're lifeguard. running. Lifeguard, sorry, yeah. Exactly. They're running across the beach, uh, looking pretty happy with themselves. I don't know, Anna, you can see. Um, there are any, I can see uh, them they are, and they lean on some in the heat, no melt person. Uh, and her uh, skewer the pole. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, them are they? Yeah, man, han må være en af karakterne. Okay. Jeg har faktisk ikke set uh, filmen. Har du? Nej. Fordi det er en moderne version af Baywatch. Mm, jeg har set um, den første uh, tv-serie. Selvfølgelig. Det har alle med Pamela. Ja. Yeah. Og oh, uh, David Hassel, Hasselhoff eller sådan noget. Ja, præcis. Så det er rigtigt. Hvad fanden sker med ham? Hvad fanden sker der med ham? Det vil jeg ikke. Han laver nok noget meget sejt. Det vil jeg ikke. Men uh, mavemuskler, muscles, uh, abs, that's what we can see in this picture. Mm, vi kan måske se nogle bryster også. Maybe we can see some yeah. breasts as well. Der er en strand, a beach, der er et hav, a, a sea, an ocean. Der er nogle bølger, some waves. Og de har noget i deres hænder også. Hvad, hvad bærer de på? Hmm. Um. Det har nogle orange uh, svimme, svimme, <laughs> sv- okay, ready? Svimme uh, pøder. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Swimming pillows. <laughs> I love how you uh, improvise when you don't know yeah. what something is yeah. like. Yeah. Ah, make up yeah. a word. Yeah, but fin and all. Berlin. Berlin is some. <laughs> Altså, jeg, hvis ikke jeg er totalt forkert på den, så tror jeg, at det hedder boyer. Boyer, ligesom boyer. boys i en engelsk. Boys, boys, okay. Så so they float. Så so, hvordan siger exactly. man to float på dansk? Uh, det var et godt spørgsmål. Um, to float must be at flyde. Flyde. At flyde, at flyde yeah. på um, overfladen. Overfladen. Om um, at flyde at kan vi sige den igen at flyde på overfladen at flyde på overfladen okay cool okay so that was pretty much everything I will try to share this picture with everybody listening if you want to see it Brooke now I will just want to ask you hvad for nogle aktiviteter kan man lave på en strand eller i havet so what activities can one do on the beach or in the sea hmm man kan svimme. Man kan man kan, man kan uh, slappe af. Relax. <laughs> man kan uh, sove måske. Sleep, ja. Yeah. Man, man kan man kan læse en bog. Read a book, nice. Man kan um, man kan lege, man kan man kan lege i sand, sand. Sandal? Play in sandal. What is this? Sandal. Play man can lie uh, in the sand. Yeah, man can lie in sandal. Man can lay in sand slot. Mosky. Slot. Man can sand prove slot. It. It's sand slot. Nice. It's sand slot. Yeah. Um, man can uh, see uh, mosky fish, or whale, or high. Man yeah. can uh, fall. So, um, for den siger man, um, det er i hvert fald i går, for den siger man, um, sunburn. 
solbrændt. Man kan blive solbrændt. Man kan blive solbrændt. Eller solskoldet. Um, man, man, ja, man skal bruge solcreme. Det er um, rigtigt. Man kan tage en uh, romantisk uh, tur. Måske mm, langs. Now you're talking. Ja. Uh, yeah. Uh, man kan have en skovetur, uh, men det er mere som en strandtur. Det er så rigtigt, ja. Man kan tage på strandtur, måske en lille, uh, sp- uh, have en lille picnic på stranden. Mm-hmm. Det, det er meget godt, Brooke. Du har nævnt så mange forskellige ting, men du har ikke nævnt den eneste ting, jeg vil have, at du nævner. Og det er, at man kan kitesurfe. <laughs> men det er okay, fordi nu har jeg nævnt det. I was waiting for, uh, you, waiting for you. Is she gonna say it? Is she gonna er, say it? No. <laughs> jeg er en fiasko. <laughs> en fiasko. Nej, det er det ikke. Jeg driller dig bare. Jeg driller dig bare. Just teasing you. It never crossed my mind. That's how scary Nej. that just says. Man can kitesurf. <laughs> Man can kitesurf, selvfølgelig. Ved du hvad? Vi holder lige en pause, og når vi så kommer tilbage, fortsætter vi med at snakke om en af disse aktiviteter på Danish Tubecastet. If you're enjoying these Learning Danish podcast episodes, you can now get access to all the bonus episodes and continued conversations right within the Apple Podcast app. It costs as little as around three dollars. It's almost nothing. I mean, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, subscribe, get access to my continued conversations with cool, interesting people sharing the good vibes. Go ahead and check it out if it sounds like something for you. Thanks for now. Let's get back to the episode. Vi er tilbage på Danish Tube Castle. Og ja, som Brooke siger, man kan nemlig kitesurfe. Det skal vi snakke om i dag, men for at gøre det, skal vi have nogen med, som faktisk ved noget om det. Derfor har jeg inviteret vores gode ven med på showet. Han hedder Thor. Velkommen, Thor. Hej, hej. Det er ret at være hej. her. Det er, det er mega fedt, at du vil være med, og at du vil tak. dele dine tanker og erfaring med os. Tak, tak. Ja. Yeah. Som, som jeg forstår det, som jeg har set på Instagram, så, uh, så kan du godt lide at kitesurfe. Du er meget glad for kitesurfing, ikke også? Uh, ja, jeg, jeg, jeg synes, at jeg er meget godt, men uh, jeg kan godt lide at uh, kitesurf eller windsurf. Og, um, jeg husker, at du har en uh, student på din podcast, og hun snakker om windsurfing, og uh, jeg kan godt lide den podcast. Det, det var uh, rigtig sjovt til at lytte til hendes uh, um, oplevelse, her experience, yeah. hendes uh, oplevelse om uh, windsurfing med her, hendes uh, kærlighed. Så so, jeg kan godt lide that, uh, den uh, podcast. Yeah. Jeg, jeg må indrømme, at jeg ikke kan huske det. <laughs> øh, men min hu kom altså ikke som den var. Og hu fra, fra Tyskland, er det, er det rigtigt? Ah, okay, okay. Så husker jeg det. Ja, yeah, okay. Så so you, you, you like any kind of surfing, basically. Windsurfing, kitesurfing, probably surfing the internet. Any yeah, other kind yeah. of surfing? <laughs> yeah. Nej, no, nej. No, uh, jeg er ikke en god surfer um, på bølger. Oh, okay. um, uh, min søn uh, er rigtig god til uh, surfing. Um, men jeg startede med windsurfing, og, og jeg vil gerne til uh, uh, um, uh, lære og um, uh, teach, teach min søn, uh, uh, hvordan til uh, windsurf. Men det var ikke uh, cool til to, to windsurf nu, for den unge er uh, kitesurfing nu. So he said, "Night, Dad. Far, I have a a kite surf." So yeah, I said, "Okay, we uh, we skal kup den ustur uh, to kite surf, or we we start at uh, some." Okay, so windsurfing er ude og kite surfing er inde. Ah, uh, yeah, lit, lit, yeah. <laughs> uh, so your son is good at uh, kite surfing, and you sort of wanted to teach no windsurfing you said right but you wanted yeah. to teach him that but he was basically not up for it he yeah. wants to do yeah yeah kite surfing okay oh um well air kite surfing vis du skulle uh, forklare det kort 
what is kite surfing if you had to tell somebody short like what it is uh kite surfing uh in bland um uh band sport for uh, at least some um uh you to have like a, a snowboard um mm -hmm. uh, in in store kite or then then uh uh the hell um St uh, uh, strings or or ropes or uh, lines Man. for uh, mm -hmm. then then kite to the um belter yep. to have belter um kind um the uh, uh, your waist a waist mm. or Vahilla, also that 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 waist had no idea Brooke had no idea nay mm, the hill tell ya Tell ya. Tell ya. Okay. So, um, men, uh, hook, uh, till din hell ya. Oh, so, uh, yeah. Oh, did you put in vin or van till, uh, uh, surf po venton? So, least some in wakeboard. So, the, uh, the, uh, even on, uh, windsurfing or wakeboarding. Oh. Okay, nice. So it's a mixture of water sports, fan sport, and some nice words you had. It's funny, a kite in Danish is actually called a dragon in drow. In drow. So drow. Oh, drow. Oh, yeah. okay. Drow. <laughs> um, but for the for the sake of like kite surfing, some do can see, non gangs are poor man, the English go or not yet, mal, universal thing. So whatever. Man, ha, in drow, sorry, in drow. Uh, oh, it rape. Det var over du du lidt efter uh, a rope. It rape. Okay. Og det har man om talien around the waist. Og man har et board selvfølgelig. Uh, mhm. Mm Tor. Had you had you prøvet det before for, uh, Liam? Had you? Jeg har aldrig prøvet det. Nej. Windsurfing eller? Nej, never, never tried any of them. Aldrig. Men jeg var mange. Uh, maybe uh, uh, um, uh, surfing. How uh, do you try uh, regular surfing? Pobuya. So normal surfing. No, I think. I think that I was young, so a barn. There had I so a bodyboard. But out of that, so I didn't try anything. So I'm young. Can you swim? Yeah, I'm all good to swim. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, I can go swim. Okay. Ja, det er interessant, at jeg er farlig at svømme, men jeg kan godt lide at være på vand. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, Tor, skal man, skal man være i dybt vand, eller ikke dybt vand, eller begge to? Mm, uh, godt spørgsmål. Um, det er interessant uh, med kitesurfing, uh, det de, de bord er ligesom en snow, snowboard, ja? Yeah? Så so det er, du kan ik eh eh vel eh ik være eh ik behøver det ik behøver til at være dupt vand um so you can uh, men can go myet myet uh Liam a uh, shallow very shallow water the hell is what man will man will see laut liksom low Low, low, vent. low, low water. Okay. Yeah, men det er nyt a uh, ting med uh, vandsport nu. It the the hele hydrofoil, og det er ret interessant. Det uh, er it's a det er lang, very lang, lang um ting. Uh, it's a uh, like a rudder. Yeah, <laughs> very uh, like in a ship. is a mm. dupe. It's a, a mosquito um, eat uh, meter lang. Or the uh, the uh, at least some in um, a, a wing, um, wing, a wing in the event. So it's gonna hit hydrofoil. Or the um, man can come ul fa uh, van or uh, go over van med wing with the wing. The wing, okay. If I'm making sense. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Is it like a trick? Or is it just how you use the foil? Yeah. Is it a trick? 
Can no, I... no, you get a trick. Nice. Yeah, okay. yeah, Ustua. It's a quick okay. It's a okay. Ust, Ustua. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Ustua. Oh, uh, so and um, they hit a, a, a hydrofoil. The, the mm -hmm. first the hydrofoil come up on uh, store skib, yeah, to or or hit yapa then uh, skib come out for 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 vent. So there that it um friction men oh, then okay. skib so we put also made in and uh then sport uh for uh, windsurfing and uh kiteboarding can can uh holler din this uh, uh hydrofoil so we scale a uh, a dupe vent for the for the wing okay take your meaning liam vet had a wing Wing. Wing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to some or <laughs> What in doubt. What in doubt. Make the English words sound famous. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes you get lucky. <laughs> I just checked on Google. I uh, yeah, yeah, Google uh, if the hydrofoil, you can see at the, uh, the lean a little bean some man find up in jet ski, for example. Bapo, it's stored ski. Make no man high in bull with the hydrofoil. Okay. Um, so, so this is pushing for... my language ability to describe something, Liam. They're very got it, got ingenious got it, to make me uh, push push me to learn Danish. Basically, the most important thing you mentioned at the start was that it's it, it's not important actually if it's deep water or shallow water, or it's not important if it's deep water as such because the board works like a snowboard. So as long as there's, I, I don't know if there's a minimum. I'm sure there is. Menglida, I don't know. Menglida or Menglida, yeah. Over, 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 yes. The surface. Yeah. Surface. Okay. The surface of the water. So, Tora, how do you learn um, at kite surf with your son? Or how do you take a with your Um Yeah, uh, no, we first, the first, the start, um, we had in 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 and and hen yeah but a private um les uh lesson uh lecture lectioner lectioner yeah so I uh, and and help us uh mosquito I get to um clean tight two or tight day man after diva kun min son or yai we we uh older um a little but uh little Bell lit, little, yeah, lit if the lit, huh? Lit if the lit, knit after lit, lit if the lit, lit after lit, yeah. So, lit mm. after lit or crystal summon. So, yeah, okay. So, so I sent this uh, sort of little article or like blog post to you, which is about kite surfing, and you will see the first question on it is well, a kite surfing. So, I wanted to compare what they've said on this website to what. You told us. Verified. Told you I lure. To lure fast. Okay, so let's start here first. Well, uh, kite surfing. What is kite surfing? Kite surfing is in van sport. It's a water sport. That's exactly what you said. There are elements that from wakeboarding, windsurfing, or paragliding, some are combinable to in sport. So. Det er lige præcis det samme, som du sagde. Det er en blanding af nogle andre ting. Uh, we don't need to read all of this. But there's like a bunch of questions on this side that we can use as inspiration. And sort of first I want to hear your thoughts regarding the question. Jeg vil høre, hvad du tænker. Og så efter kan vi sige, hvad de har skrevet. Og um, noget, som jeg har set på denne hjemmeside, som hedder frozenpalmtree.dk, hvis I lytter med, så har I skrevet en, en, uh, uf, en forfærdelig fejl flere gange på jeres hjemmeside. I'll be interested to know if either of you, Brooke or Thor, no. Liam, can you for mig uh, tale a little langsom for mig? So jeg har jeg uh, uh, lidt uh, uh, til folie af dig, fordi du snakker lidt til uh, højde. <laughs> Yes, yes, motel. This guy I knock girl. So I was saying on this website they have a bunch of questions and I want to first hear your thoughts. We'll just take a few of them 
and then we'll see what they've written. Maybe we'll learn some new words and we translate what they've written. I've noticed there's one mis- like grammatical mistake that they repeat a lot on this website. So so I, I want, I'm interested to know if you spot it while we are reading. Yeah, I saw it. They said start, start, togang. <laughs> okay, yeah. Men det er en ting. Det er sådan ikke en fejl som sådan. Not exactly a mistake, but it is. They've repeated it, so. They just need a proofreader. Uh, yeah, exactly. So let's maybe take question number two. Or the air air kite surfing svært is kite surfing difficult? What say you, Tor? Um, yeah, I see it. The uh, ex uh, so svært as w- uh, some uh, wind surfing, wind mm-hmm. surfing, uh, mere technic technicalist. Technisk, ja. I dag uh, kite surf, kite surfing er uh, nemmer er uh, måske nul, uh, måske ti eller fem år siden, og det er blevet nemmer nu. Så det er ikke så svært, um, men det kan være svært, um, hvis du uh, ikke har måske en um, hjælp til at uh, give dig lektier to start day men mm-hmm. after do start um you can uh, you can men can uh uh go uh, no basic basic ba- uh, basil basala basala thing mm. yeah nice okay so it's not as hard as windsurfing it's kind of easier and it's much easier than it was five to ten years ago but it can be hard when you first start if you don't get some help Okay, let's confirm what you're saying with this website. Mm-hmm. But I'm not really trusting this website because they made mistakes on it. But anyway, Brooke, I'm going to read a little bit of it and let's see if you can maybe translate, help us out to understand it. So they have written, D. Haskell, kite surfing can be so complicated som du vil have det til i forhold til forskellige teknikker og tricks. Can do always it, Deborah. Yeah, uh, kite surfing can be as complicated as you would like it to be regarding different techni- techniques and tricks. Det kan være endnu sværere, hvis du ikke ikke det har skrevet ikke to gange, <laughs> hvis du ikke vil hvad du laver. Um, it can be even more difficult if you don't know what you're doing. I see. Therefore anbefaler vi også alle, der er interesseret i sporten, i at tage et kursus. Therefore, we recommend also that anyone that's interested in the sport takes a class. Yeah, and I think the second E here can also be deleted. Selvfølgelig kan de se intimiderende ud, når de professionelle laver vilde tricks eller hopper 20 meter op i luften og får det til at se let ud. Um, of course, it can look intimidating um, when uh, they do professional tricks. When the professionals, the professionals. Okay, when the professionals do tricks or hop 20 meters up in the air. Um, uh, oh, did to see um, uh, something about making it look easy. They make it look yeah. easy. Exactly, and they make it look easy. And here is where there is a grammatical mistake right at the end here. Any ideas what it might be? Here where they've written up i luften og får det til og se let ud. Um. <laughs> to see light out? To see it le- makes it like le- light out? Uh, it means to make it look easy, yeah. So that's okay. It's actually that they've they've put faux. Uh huh. Are they faux? No, no. All right, we're we can't find it. <laughs> yeah, can't see it. Actually, there's a verb here at sea, and they've put a comma before this at sea, and you know the word at you use it with infinitive verbs like to see at sea, to eat at spisa, to run at luba. And then you also use it as a conjunction. It usually means that. For example, I think that. Yes, soon as comma, at, blah, 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 blah. And they are all the time putting a comma before a verb. And you should never do this. It doesn't make any sense to do that. 
because it's not a conjunction. And it'd be the same in English. Like if you put a comma before to eat, like I'm going out, comma, to eat. You would never do that. So it's kind of funny. The it's it's a lot. It's, it's quite a lot of times they've written it like this. Uh, <laughs> so there should not be any comma at all. There should not be a comma. No. Okay, got it. But you do use the comma before at when it's not for a verb. When it's you, when it is that conjunction. Exactly, without. exactly. So if you go, if you scroll to the top of this page, they've got a list of questions and number seven and number eight. They've done it twice here. They've written scammon ver a gold form for comma at lair at kite surfer. Here we have a verb. Do you need to be in good shape to learn to kite surf? And number eight, for gamos scammon ver for comma at lair at kite surfer. Again, comma before at lair. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, and it makes it difficult. It made it like difficult to read when I was trying to translate. I couldn't figure out why, what that little bit at the end was saying. It, it yeah. looked like it was a totally different part of the sentence. <laughs> Okay, well now you know, if you see it again while we're reading, point it out. So don't do that. Don't do it. <laughs> um, okay, let's just leave it at that. Let's go to the next, uh, let's see, a kite surf in Sigurd. And let's maybe see what else, what other questions we have here. Hvad for nogle andre spørgsmål har vi? Det er faktisk et godt spørgsmål, synes jeg. Nummer syv, skal man være i form for at kite surfer? Do you need to be in shape to kite surf? Um, uh, 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 had right uh, uh, in shape or a, a form. Uh, do you have it there in Iron Man? Uh, man, yeah, as soon as that the, it they had got to at Blue, uh, lit in shape, um, mm -hmm. or ella form. Um, and do you have in um, a bodybuilder or, or you know a gymnastics a gymnastics a gymnastics mm -hmm. um, um, and you can you know you uh, have seen um, manga burn um, this data my own or the heat okay or we have also see um, known uh, menisco ult the uh, uh, gamel men uh, they are right uh, inspired. Uh, I had see, uh, I, I can think I uh, knew I can, um, um, convene at uh, mosquito, uh, half fierce or uh, uh, kite, kite surf. Okay, so yeah. they are right uh, inspired. Uh, Basically, you don't need to be in super good shape, you don't need to be gymnast, a uh, gymnast. Uh, men selvfølgelig hjælper det lidt, hvis du er sådan nogenlunde i form. Uh, and you have seen, you know, people as old as 70 out there on the boards. Lad os se, hvad de siger her på denne hjemmeside. De siger, at du behøves ikke at være i god form for at lære kitesurfer. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be in good shape. <laughs> you don't, it's exactly what you said. You don't need to be in good shape to learn to kitesurf. Uh, exactly. Finished. End. Now they see it. They see also kite surfing handler mest om koordination og ikke din styrker. Yeah, they are right. You know, they are interesting that that can uh, peer or Kevin uh, 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 right to go to uh, kiteboard for the now we st when men um, men started kiteboard we uh, tend we we tend to. Uh, who of us muscular man or mm. we see, we see a, a muscular it or muscle it? I don't, yeah, uh -huh. and muscular day, yeah, to get no meaning, correct it, man. Men, uh, Kevin, uh, so for the uh, the are extra strack, uh, men, uh, they are the the brewer, there's coordination, man, or so therefore, peer, uh, Kevin, a right to go at uh, kite surfing. Nice. Okay. Ja, det er interessant. Um, jeg undrer mig over, hvis det er ligesom snebræt, et snebræt, fordi snebræt. Um, kvinder og piger um, plejer at have um, en layer, layer tungtepunkt. Er det der, der der ord? Tungtepunkt? Uh, central gravity. Center, center of gravity, yeah. I deres krop. Mm. Så... Um, um, had a and for skelly more poet coordinator 
Og det er nemmere at balancere og uh, mm-hmm. bruge bræt. Bruge brættet. Okay, ja. Yeah. Så so it's more about coordination rather than strength and your balance, especially how good are you at balancing. Uh, mm-hmm, okay. Det lyder meget godt. Uh, I can see in the not the next sentence, ikke den næste sætning, men sætningen efter, uh, hvor der står her, hvilket betyder, kommer at du ikke behøver at komme at være bodybuilder for komme at styrke kiten. Kan I kan I se hvor mange fald der er med med komme uh, really, it's, yeah, it's really sort of boxy to try and read it with so many commas. So uh, yeah, well whatever. Det må vi leve med. We have to live with that. <laughs> Nummer 10, det hedder, hvor lang tid tager det at lære at kitesurfe? How long does it take to learn to kitesurf? I know that earlier you said you had some lessons like two or three days and then you sort of took over yourselves and practiced to i, i uvel, ja, yeah, efter det. Um, hvad siger du, Tor? Hvor lang tid tager det? Um, de, uh, det her depends. De- de kom, det kommer an på. Det kommer an på noget. Hvad, hvad kommer det an på? Um, de, uh, uh, nogle ting er, uh, hvor mange uh, gange du går ud på vandet, og din udstyr, og din lektier, og, og, og din selv. Så det er nogen, er, der kan uh, optage uh, og lære uh, en sport rigtig højtig. Og den andre, de, de var aldrig for det. De. <laughs> og de, uh, desværre, yeah, de vil aldrig uh, blive god til in- uh, kitesurfing. Um, men jeg synes, uh, måske hvis det går ud um, en dag um, med fem eller seks grader um, gang, jeg mener, undskyld, gang. Yep, yep. 5-6 gange om dagen, sagde du, eller? Ja, yeah, fordi, fordi n- næste gang, du går ud, uh, you can, man kan gå ud måske uh, en eller tre timer, fordi du bliver for træt, når du starter. Så vi starter um, en uh, uh, langsom. Så den første lesson, or, or lecture, er... Uh, lektion. Uh, ikke på vand, men på um, grund, grund, ground, mm. grund. Yeah. På, på jorden, kan man sige, eller på stranden. Um, og den mm. efter, du går um, i vand uh, og starter i, i, i um, what was the word again? Shallow? Shallow vand? Lavt vand. Lav. Lav uh, vand på måske din kni. Og du starter mm. langt. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Så jeg tror, at maybe, måske, uh, fire, fem gang. Så so, so Tor, you're saying, like, it depends, really, and this expression, det kommer an på, in Danish, it's an expression where you have to complete the sentence. You cannot just say, like, det kommer an på, and finish, you have to complete it. So we could say, det kommer an på uh, personen, for example. It depends on the person. Uh, yeah, det kommer an på personen, det kan være, at du... Uh, at du fanger det meget, meget hurtigt. It can be that you you get it, you grab, you sort of understand it very quickly. Eller det kan være, at det tager meget tid, or it can be it takes a lot of time. Eller det kan også være, at du aldrig bliver god til det, desværre. Or you never get good at it, unfortunately. It's the case with a lot of things, I think. But basically, you kind of said like, you know, five, six times you start by slowly... Uh, on the ground, on the beach or whatever, you get a lesson of just flying the kite, how to do that, and then you start in shallow water and then you go from there. Hi again, and thanks for listening to this episode on the Danish Tubecast. If you would like to listen to the rest of this conversation, you can do so very shortly by subscribing with an Apple Podcast app. Alternatively, you can go over to Patreon where you can hear the rest of this conversation as well as get access to Danish exercises live streams and some pretty sweet danish tube merchandise not only will you be supporting my work and making it possible for me to improve this podcast for you the listener but you will also get some pretty cool danish stuff back for your bucks so if that sounds like something for you follow the link in the description 
Otherwise, I will see you again in the next episode.